Yes, guys. As part of this session, we are going to discuss about other traversal technique of binary search tree, that is hierarchical data structure, and that traversal technique is pre-order traversal technique. And what is the rule for this pre-order traversal technique? How we have to traverse the hierarchical data structure is first node, that is root node, must get visited. After that, left node should get visit. After that, right node should get visit. Here, how we are going to visit is very important. Whenever you are visiting the particular node, you have to display the data that shows that you have visited the data or the nodes in this particular rule whatever the rule which we have or which has been prescribed to us the see in the same rule we are going to traverse so if i be at this node what we have to do so i mean think that this is the hierarchical data structure and for this node this is the left node and for this node this is the right node and for this this is the left node and this is the right node okay for this one this is left node that is a node with reference 6 and this node acts as the right node for this node which is having the reference as 7 so here if we traverse and if we apply that nl or formula how the data will be that is the output will be so if you are printing the data in such a way that is first node after that left and after that right it shows that you have visited the nodes in this particular formula that's why we are going to print the data and we are making sure that i have visited the nodes in a particular formula as per the pre-order traversal technique so let me just put the output as like this okay first let us apply this n l or formula to this particular node so first which should get print first root node that is 99 should get print okay okay n has been finished here and coming to left what is this left so now you just forgot about all these things now you are at this only at this node okay now for this apply that n l or formula it is so simple okay now first node should get print that is root node this is acting as the root node as of now okay now just print 9 and after that you are going for the left node so once again apply this l n l r formula now what is the node that is 3 here okay now after applying this l i mean n l r formula first node has been displayed that is it used the guarantee that i have visited the node first now let me go for the left node is there any left node for this particular this i mean for this node no left node for this one and after that okay i have visited it shows that there is no left node if it is applicable or if it is available definitely i might have visited that particular node and i will print the data and i will make sure or, or i will give the guarantee that by displaying the data that i have visited the left node now okay left has been finished now for this node what is the right node there is no right node here so even that has been finished thing that we have visited okay if that one is available definitely i will give guarantee for you that i have visited that node by displaying that particular right node data which is as a right node for this one but here that node is not available if it is available i will go visit and i will display the data right so that one is not available so i will give guarantee that i have visited now come to this one left has been finished for this particular node still okay left has been finished now still a right node is available so come to this one once again apply nl of formula now what is here first you have to display node 18 will get display after that left node where is left node not there it is null and what where is right node it is not there okay if that one i mean like if two i mean like left node is available and right node is available definitely i will visit but that one is not available think that we have applied that in lr successfully okay now this entire node and left has been completed for this particular node that this entire thing will act as the left for this root node okay now l has been finished for this particular root node now come to the right node so just we are here so now once again we are going to apply nl of formula and let me check whether so first you have to print the node data i mean node data that is the root node data 108 after that let me check whether it is having the left node or not if it is having i will go to that node and once again i will apply nl or formula so it will be as nl or so now what is here first you have to apply node okay first you have to display the node data it gives a guarantee that you are visiting the node first okay now i will display one or three 
after that what you have to do you have to check whether this particular node is having the left node it is not having the left node if it is applicable or if it is available definitely i will go visit that node and i will display the data to give guarantee for you that particular node is available and i have visited that one in a particular formula as per the pre order traversal right if, okay now that particular left node is not available here okay let it be we have visited okay now right that one also not there okay now for this node node has been finished and left also has been finished now come to the right one so once again apply n l r formula so first node should get display okay node has been displayed after that l should get applied there is no left node and there is no right node okay l has been finished or has been finished and for this particular node l n r formula has been finished successfully and this is right so for this node l sorry n l r formula has been applied successfully so after traversing this particular hierarchical data structure in pre order traversal technique this will be the output so for this getting output that is to give guarantee that i have visited the hierarchical data structure like first root node later left node and later right node okay so how i can give guarantee that i have visited the data structure which is created in hierarchical manner in memory how i can do that one so if i display the data so whenever i have visited the particular node if i display that node data it gives guarantee that i have visited the node in this particular fashion okay now the same formula has been applied for each and every node try to understand it's very important now we are going to write some set of instructions as per this particular data structure from this crash lab it's very simple i think i have explained i mean i have done in order traversal with very good explanation so if you be good in that then this pre order traversal technique will be very easy only one thing you have to display the data in this particular formula that is it is the rule it is the regulation for pre order traversal now let us develop the code for that one so as i said earlier whenever we are creating a particular data structure first we should have the first node reference if it is like i mean we should have i mean our um, there should be one cursor which should point either end node if it is like circular doubly linked list or circular singly linked list if it is like normal data structures like singly linked list or doubly linked list you have to have an identifier which points the first node because by using that node reference we can traverse all the nodes as like that in hierarchical data structure also we must have the root node address for future use so we have we must create an identifier which should contain the reference of the root node okay let it be let me make that one as the static test why test all these things i have explained clearly at the time of creation of binary history go and brush that video then you can feel comfort in this okay each and every session is having the link ups okay each and every session is dependent on other earlier previous i mean previous sessions you have to be very good in those sessions that is why data structures is very important okay algorithm writing that is analysis is very very important and this is also one of the interview question try to make notice of this one if you go for any dream and mnc's they definitely ask you and they will ask you how internally it works can you write some set of instructions to visit all the hierarchical data structure in pre order traversal they will ask you how it works that you have to write the code and you have to explain the analysis it's very important now let us see how we can write this how we can transform this entire pictorial thing into the instruction that is in understandable way to the jvm now static test a root equal to let it be like uh, so i created and that value is not null okay initially it will be as null and that value is not null it is having the reference as 1 as of now okay because of creation after that what i am going to do here is i am going to take one static void pre order is my service name that is my method name so now here what we are going to do here is just take one local variable why local variable of type test because we should not disturb the root value for other operations for like in order and for post order we have to use the root 
I mean root identifier value only to travels if you want to perform any insertion if you want to perform any deletion I mean like if you want to delete any particular node in the hierarchical data structure then you have to use at least one node reference so that I can traverse to other nodes because how I can traverse if I be at this node I can traverse to each and every node how because we will be having the reference of later node reference I mean later node references or next level reference nodes I mean node references with the earlier node how it will be having links that is what it is a concept of linked list as I said earlier if you guys good in linked list concepts this hierarchical data structures will be very simple to you no need to try hard okay now let us see the code now let me copy root value to root 1 so root 1 is 1 and root value is also 1 now so now you just take one which statement we have to take here either selective statement or con I mean iterative statement we have to take iterative statement because this action should be done in iterative fashion okay so directly I will take iterative statement so let us take one while iterative statement so when okay let it be here we have to write one beautiful condition let me write that one later now root one value is one what is the formula for pre-order traversal first node then left node and right node so now what i'm going to do here is directly i'm going to print the value so sop print root one dot i why i at the time of creation we are creating a class test in that i took an instance variable of type int with identifier that is a name as i that's why i if you are not getting this go and brace that create operation of binary search tree i am intimating to you once again okay be clear after that what i have to do i have to check whether this one this particular node is having left node or not i am not going to check anything so i'll write one beautiful condition here so that will do all the checkings and it will come out of the loop so how we are going to write that one it's very important now let us check it once after doing this one i am going to assign root 1 is 1 so root 1 dot left i am going to assign to the root 1 and once again one more trick here is whatever the traversal technique you are using whether it is in order pre-order or post order the only one thing you have to put in your brain you have to traverse the leftmost node of the left subtree to the rightmost node of the right subtree if you traverse in a particular formula then you are going to cover all the nodes by using a particular formula as per the traversal technique so you are not going to miss any of the nodes in the hierarchical data structure try to focus it's very important 